So I am rethinking my entire stocking list of saltwater fish. And I am going to pull two of the clowns out as suggested by one of the viewers and just rethink the entire stock list. There are some fish that I definitely want and there's some that I can definitely live without so purple tang is still down in the sump I will choose between either the snowflake clownfish um, the regular oscillaris clownfish are definitely going to go back to the store for a credit and I will be adding some more blue green chromis um, the coral angel is doing okay uh, it looks like it has some type of I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's ick. Um, could be marine velvet. Uh, so I will research that and treat accordingly. And the Vanderbilt Chromies, they were too aggressive, so they've been. They were too aggressive to each other, and then also I think they were probably pulled from the wild and had not been in a captive tank. And so the ones that were, uh, I guess, picked on due to aggression in the tank, they died, and then the remaining. Um, that were left just really fought for territory until like two were left so those are out of the tank now and the six line rafts has disappeared on me uh, haven't even found a body I'm not sure if it jumped out because I don't have a top yep net for the tank or if it's um, so that one is out and then I guess long term the six line rest wasn't a good idea they can be aggressive um, so I have picked a different rest that I'll give a try um, and a basslet fish and a couple other fish that I'm going to give a try so it's really figuring out which combination is going to work and then once I get somewhat of stability with the type of fish in a the tank, then I can move on to considering coals. So these two have been going at it. So there's just a lot of territory bullying, intimidation going on, uh, and I have to sort it out. Because I definitely don't want an entire tank full of blue green chromis. And so the plan now is to rethink the stocking list. And I may even take the Mandarin back, who seems to be the only chilled fish in the entire tank. And he's actually eating pellets, so that's 
kind of uh, where'd he go? The shocker there. Um, out of all the fish, that one is the most chilled one right now in the tank. All right, thanks for watching, and welcome new subscribers. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Updates come out at least weekly, sometimes every two weeks or so, depending on how much time I have throughout the week. Um, new order, two new orders coming up, um, equipment and supplies. Um, bringing on a canister filter for carbon and um, some type of phosphate media to control the phosphates. Cleaned the glass recently but can still see an idea of the level of brown algae that's growing on the glass and then these guys are going at it. So that's the update and one of the most challenging phases, I guess, of having any type of aquarium is reconciling the fish that you want with what will work for the tank, with what works with the budget, and making sure they don't bully or attack one another. And eventually I'll get this tank stabilized and I can maybe start adding corals by mid-summer maybe late summer is the goal and I will close with a close shot of coralline algae starting to develop on the rock thanks for watching